Hello, my name is James McCorn, and today I'm going to be talking about how much of an absolute beast the Samsung Galaxy Note is and its deck stock equivalent. As you can see in the upper right hand portion of the screen, I have the camera enabled, so you can see my desk set up. I have my normal keyboard and mouse, and here's the deck stock. I'm using a three foot long USB-C extension cable because I like using my phone with the case and it has absolutely no problem running whatsoever at max speed. So uh, today I'm going to cover simple productivity, um, but I will let you know I actually run my entire business off of the Note 8 and I actually run several businesses, but be more specifically, uh, I run my Amazon business off of this. And the majority of uh, my Amazon business is actually run off of internet applications, um, in particular the Jungle Scout suite, which runs all in the browser, which is really, really nice. Uh, the only exception to that, which I will cover, is that the Jungle Scout extension, which I use to research products more in depth, does not run in the Note 8 browser, but don't worry, I have a solution that I will talk about here that actually has multiple applications to other industries. So let's go ahead and delve right in. First, you have your usual, you have your Microsoft Word. Uh, yes, this is a full enabled version of Microsoft Word. I'm able to write and completely take care of all my writing needs with Microsoft Word here. Uh, same with Excel. I'm able to handle a lot of uh, stuff, including complex formulas, if, and, or other formulas. As you can see, there's quite a lot that you could apply here, and it'll handle complex spreadsheets, no problem. Okay, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is the DEX Hub. This is really impressive. It gives me an idea of how things are operating, how to control audio, uh, and solves little miscellaneous problems here and there. Notice my CPU is barely being used. And, you know, I'm using a decent amount of RAM, and that's because I have a lot of stuff active. Um, but, you know, DEX isn't all about business, and I'll cover that momentarily. But I'm going to show you something that I use to cover that last uh, little step that I have when I'm doing research on Amazon, and that is Amazon Workspaces. And oh, what's this? Is this a full Windows environment? Yes, it is. It is a full Windows environment. And uh, this is streaming off of the Amazon Workspaces. Um, as you can see, you have plenty of options here. And the performance that I find, ooh, the performance I find is instantaneous. Now this is running off of Amazon's cloud servers. And as you can see, um, it has a full version of Chrome, it has a full version of Windows. And I find this to be particularly effective because, you know, maybe I don't always want to run a computer somewhere that I remotely tap into. Maybe I want all my IT to be handled by someone else in the cloud. And Amazon Workspaces allows me to do that. And they can be relatively affordable. In fact, they offer a free tier where you could have a whole workspace, full Windows, for free for 12 months, which is quite impressive. And uh, nice thing about this is uh, as they upgrade their hardware, you benefit. As they lower their prices, which they've been doing, you benefit. And you don't have to worry about, oh, my computer broke down or anything. They, they take care of all that. So this gives me the full Windows environment. It's um, you know, I'm working with a data center in Oregon right now, and I'm able to move around as if it is native. Uh, I'm able to play videos. Let's go ahead and show a video I'm able to do. It's able to tap into the USB ports on the deck stock. I'm going to not play too much. Don't want to be hit with a uh, copyright strike, but you get the idea. Um, pretty much instant playback. You could hear the click and it's already playing. You know, you want to do a speed test. You can run a speed test, you know, basically data center level speeds, megabits per second. All it's sending to your device is pixels that your mouse is interacting with in real time. It is incredible. So this helps me cover the last few centimeters, but you know, uh, I'll probably delve into Amazon uh, 
desktop web services a bit later. But for now, let's go ahead and minimize this. Oh, something I'm going to note before I do. You still have access to your Dex apps. So you can actually run them on top of uh, the Amazon. So if you need a quick reference for something, you could pop it up, say, oh, Department of Redundancy, and then you can look it up here. So it's pretty cool. Uh, so let's go ahead and minimize uh, the Amazon workspaces. So let's go ahead and cover uh, the more fun creative side because I like creating videos. I like creating photos, interesting, cool photos. Uh, so I actually have video editing right here. And let's go ahead and open up uh, Wii Video. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And, oh, what do you know? It's my video. Yes, I edited it all on the mobile device. And I was able to splice together uh, multiple scenes. You know, I'm able to add more if I want. Let's go ahead and use uh, this cute picture of a dog. Let's just add it in there. And bam, you're ready. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. You know, I'm just going to mute the audio for now, and uh, let's, um, let's take a look. Okay, so you get the idea. You're able to edit your, your, um, your videos pretty quickly here. Uh, but let's go ahead and tackle uh, photo editing, something I like to mess around with a lot. And to do so... Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look at uh, Snapseed by Google. Oh, here is a beautiful picture of my dog. As you can see, she's quite content with her little uh, Ebby Fry toy. And we're going to go ahead and make some changes to the photograph. Um, let's go ahead and add some filters here so this is the original you know I'm gonna do maybe a portrait tweak you know I, I think I want to add on uh, an emotional feel to how you know because the way we perceive memories and images isn't always about oh it's a beautiful picture sometimes it's how you feel about the picture so you know I remember this moment very brightly very um, cute when I took the photo so you know I'll apply the portrait effect you know I'll maybe add a little bit of glamour glow kind of blur it make it a little softer uh, maybe add a little vintage to draw focus right into uh, my beautiful baby girl and then maybe add a little bit of bloom effect so that way I remember it as this this bright moment here so let's go ahead and add the effect there now what's nice is you could edit all these effects in real time so this is filter strength 29 but you can always adjust the filter strength at the top. You know, that's way too much. That's no difference at all, you know, but 29 seems to be a good, good portion. You know, maybe I want to add uh, a different effect. You know, do I want a people? Do I want it nature? You know, pardon the interruption. My dog went a little ballistic with an Amazon package arriving. Uh, I was saying, uh, nature and people, you know, have your options. Hot huh, people seems to add a nice brighter, but there seems to be some artifacts back there. So I'm going to adjust the filter strength down just a smidgen to get rid of those black artifacts back there. Okay, that looks good. You know, I'm going to go ahead and you know, publish this. I'm going to export it or save. You know, I'm going to save it. And that is Snapseed very quick. Well, let's say I want to get a little bit more creative. And that I'm going to go ahead and open up one of my more interesting tools, and that is Tiny Planet FX Pro. Now, a lot of these open in app view, but that, I find that tends to not be a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and find a photo here. Here's a picture of myself. 
Let's go ahead and open that up. I'm going to open it to original resolution. And already the photo looks pretty wild, something I would choose normally. But let's go ahead and tweak it a little bit. Let's zoom it. Let's rotate it. Hmm, I kind of like... Uh, I kind of like that position where my head is front and center. You have this wild distortion going on. I might want to invert it a little bit. Yeah, this is how it would look one way. I'm going to flip the image around, try and create that, that tiny planet effect. Uh, do I want any spin? Well, maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and add some advanced stuff. Maybe I want to wrap it. Oh, no. Actually, I don't. But you can see the, it makes effects pretty interesting. I maybe do want a little bulge, though. Or undo the the bulge and create this nice warped starry effect. You know, that looks good enough. Let's go ahead and save this. Um, let's... You know, it's good enough as is. Let's save the image. And there we go. It's already saved to gallery, ready for upload to Instagram fame. So that's the power of the Samsung DeX. Yes, you do get a full browser that I actually have adblock enabled. It's very nice. Uh, you can edit videos. You can work on full windows. Uh, you can play games. I'm not much of a gamer on my cell phone. I tend to focus it purely on work, but for the occasional run, I do have my PS4 controller. It works really, really well. I'm very happy with it. And if you guys have any questions, uh, or if I find any more beast mode options with the Samsung uh, Galaxy, I will share it to you. Oh yes, one other thing. Um, this little application right here, uh, I can actually live stream with this. So if I wanted to play a game or something else, I could live stream my screen with my audio in real time. Uh, something else I'm going to point out, I do have a Blue Yeti Pro microphone that I've hooked up via USB and it does work, no problem. I've used USB external sound cards with the DeX, it works no problem. With this cable, I've been able to use headphones using the Samsung's built-in headphone port, no problem. It is a very, very powerful device. And you have plenty of options, including hard link, um, LTE, or Wi-Fi. So this is very, very powerful in what you can do with it. Um, you could even hook up scanners and using, you know, Amazon Workspaces, scan things in. Um, but I've rambled on long enough. Please let me know what you think about it in the comments, comments, questions, uh, Things you would like to see, please let me know. This is James McGorn, signing off.